So, guess what happened? The location that I was gonna get said no. And now I gotta find a new location for my snack vending machine. You know, I'm not dressed to go out today. So, we're using Facebook. I made a post, shared it on different social media pages. Let's see how it goes. And just letting you know, that's part of business. You're gonna hear yeah and at the last minute. They're gonna say no. And what do you do? You just gotta take it on the chin and keep moving forward. That's why I don't really get my hopes up until I have the money in my hand, until it's official yes, <sighs> because it happens. So this is what I wrote on the post. This is my sales pitch. Pause it if you wanna read it. Took some pictures and bam, seven shares, some likes, and I got some potential. Uh-huh, let's see. This guy asked me, yo, are you renting or selling the vending machine? I told him, nah, bro, I'm just looking for a location. But I pay commission. He goes, okay, I'll get back to you. And then this guy right here, on one of the pages I shared, someone wrote, Pat needs this at his shop. <laughs> yeah, he does. So there's some potential, let's see. But you might be asking, but Reyes, what about your Pepsi machine? How come you haven't shown us that? Because to be honest, my biggest fear happened. It's not working. It's not working. Let me go show you what's wrong with it. And let me tell you what I'm gonna do about it. I might just get rid of it. I might sell it for parts. Or I might just hang some shirts from it. We'll see how it goes. So, let's figure out what's wrong with my machine. So I gotta plug this right here. You guys hear that? So, the AC works, I hear it, and you know what, to be honest, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I don't know the first thing to check. We live in a society where there's groups for all sorts of things, so my recommendation is join groups about the business that you want to start. Join communities, because they come in handy, like right now. I'm going to call a homie, Mark Seto. He has a vending machine business as well. Let's see if he could help me out. Mark. What's going on, man? My Pepsi machine, bro. The the coolant, the cooler starts, but the little red light in front of it doesn't turn on. And how? Do, what's the first thing I gotta do to test it to make sure it works? Get some sodas and try it out. I would just go ahead and plug it in. Yeah. I would give it like a 24-hour basis. But what's going on now? The the little light, the red light in front of it. In front of the buttons. Yeah, you know, you know, it turns on. You got, it, you got it in front of you? Yeah, let's go get it. So, it's on right now, but this little light, I don't know if it turns on or not. That's just showing you have to have fresh change, you gotta have to fill up your coin mech. Oh, I just gotta fill up the coin mech and then it turns on? Yes, sir. Okay, so. Let me show you. The coin mech sound. Yeah, oh. Uh, heads up, if you're gonna start doing full line, full time, man, you wanna carry a couple hundred dollars in Really? So always have change in case you gotta restart the machine? Yeah, so once you fill that coin mech up, that coin mech's gotta be full for it to even take dollar bills or anything. Oh. A lot of times, like you'll see, oh, the bill acceptor's not working. That's easy fix because a lot of times the people that sell them pull all the coins out, so they don't, they don't think it's working. Well, that's what I thought. I thought it wasn't yeah. working. Yeah, so if you, if you, if you don't have any coins there? Nothing. All that money you make, Reyes? Hey, I only carry fives and tens, bro. I don't mess with the small stuff, you know? Nah, I'm playing. I'll, I'll be on your level sometime. I'm on the dime and pickles right now. Hey, hey, man, you'll get there one day. Don't, you know, just get a new pair of glasses. You're set. But so, okay, you know what? Let me go get some change. Let me go, go get some sodas. Let me give that a try. Hey, you're the best, Mark. Thank you so much. All right, Reyes, appreciate it, man. All right, then, bye. Yo. And I was about to sell the machine to my assistant. Imagine. <laughs> Anyways, though. So, let's go get some change. Let's go get some sodas. And cross your fingers that it works. Let's go. So, I have some very good news. Got a new location. Gonna go Friday to my new location. But for today, Wednesday, let's work on this bad boy. Let's go get some coins. Let's go get some sodas. And hopefully, it works. Hopefully. These are the sodas I need.
Yo, what is this? It's ice. Should I be worried about this? <laughs> I don't know. Let's fill up the sodas. Oh, and I went the low budget way. I, I didn't want to invest on different types of soda in case for whatever reason this doesn't work. And well, you know, me and soda don't get along that well. Hmm. My girl, my girl loves Canada Dry. So if this machine doesn't work, I'm gonna give it to my girl and be like, hey, happy birthday. All right. Hey, quick question. What are these? They're shims? Or did you pull it out of? There. Yeah, what is that? What kind of machine is that? Well, it's, it's a Pepsi machine. All right, and let me see. All right, hey, and I think uh we have an ice problem. Hey, is this a problem? Look, that's ice. Yeah, that's a bad problem. That is a problem? Yeah, man. Okay, so I should just unplug it, let it defrost, and then just make sure the door is closed? Yeah, but you can test the motors and stuff like that. You can just unplug the compressor compartment, right? Oh, okay, okay. You should be good to go. All right then, bye. All right, so put some sodas in there. The TV is gonna take my money. Nope. Maybe I should lock it? Let me go lock it. So, locked it up, let's see. Nah. Try some quarters. Nothing. I'm gonna be trying different things. Let's see what works. <sighs> so I just finished talking to Mark and the vending machine isn't powering up. He pretty much said either I'm gonna have to put a couple hundred into the machine or sell it. And I don't wanna put more money into it because I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna sell it. Nick, yeah. you want to buy my soda vending machine? Yeah. All right, he might buy it. We were talking about it earlier. So, I'm going to get rid of it, see how the snack one does on the new location, and we'll go from there. Lesson learned. Learn from my mistakes. Even though they're simple mistakes, learn from them, all right? But let me show you how easy I got my next vending machine location. And you know what? I didn't even have to get out pretty and go do my sales pitch because it came to me. So the post on Facebook, they're great. Look at the responses I got. You know, I'm blurring out the names just because I don't have permission to record them, but posted it. And then this girl right here says she's interested. Do you have somewhere you would like to place a vending machine? She goes, yes, sir. Mechanic shop in Kalinga. Do you have a soda machine? This one right here is broken, but I said I should have one by next week. See how it goes. Cause I'd rather have a location and then get the machine, then get the machine and try looking for a location. How do you pros do it? Do you go get a location first and then find a vending machine? Or do you buy a vending machine and then go for a location? But then this guy right here, put one at the school. I'm like, what? So we were talking a little bit. He He's a teacher at the school. Let me see, let me see where he's at, right here. Yeah, for sure. How can we make this happen? Gotta talk to the principal. He goes, when can you bring it? He said, yeah. Man, he did all the work for me. He goes, Friday? I'm like, let's do it. I think this person messaged me. Hello, good morning. I'm interested on maybe one or two of your vending machines. My sale is. So, this is the game plan. I'm gonna hit her up and see if she could give me a couple of weeks to get a new vending machine. But before I focus on that right there, for this one, I gotta get a truck. I've never moved a vending machine before and hope I don't have any headaches at the last minute. Cause imagine I take it and it's not working over there. Oh man. And I know what you're thinking. But Reyes, what about the gas? It's gonna be a lot. Ooh. Who knew a vending machine business was gonna be such a big headache, but hopefully it pays out. Let's see how it goes. So before I take this snack vending machine to this location, some people told me, Reyes, you're charging too little for your chips for your snack so i raised the price a bit and raising the price just a few more cents i'm making an extra 16 dollars net profit why not hopefully i don't hear any complaints about it but what do you guys think
So it's Friday. I got everything ready. Tim, he's coming. He's the homie that let me borrow his truck. You know, he's the homie. He, he's driving two hours. Of course, I'm not paying for gas and his time. So I appreciate Tim. If you guys don't know Tim, he also has a vending machine channel. He has an entrepreneur channel. Go show him some love. He's on his way. It's 914 right now. I was ready to go. Then the location messaged me. Hey, bro, my boss just called me and told me to inform you that the approval was delayed. He said if you could wait a couple more days till he gets the okay. It's not this guy's fault, you know. I understand, but it sucks. When am I gonna start making money? And you know what? I'm just gonna end the video. The only thing I could do is just keep trying. Just keep trying. Oh man. I'm gonna keep working on my vending machine, keep growing it. Try getting my first location. I thought it was gonna happen today. It didn't. But in my next video, I'm gonna get a location for sure. For sure, man. I'll see you in my next video. Of course, the one I got. Oh, yeah. So, this, I think it will fit to the door, obviously. Yeah. It is old. A little cleanup. 